While Russia's military hasn't had a lot of success recently in terms of capturing Ukrainian territory, that doesn't mean the military hasn't been successful at killing Ukrainian civilians. Every day brings new reports of a hospital, school, or shelter being hit by a Russian airstrike, or entire cities under siege with no access to food, water, or medicine. And I honestly don't know what the point of it all is. Like, unless Putin's plan is to win over the Ukrainian people with the world's largest case of Stockholm syndrome, what is he doing? But either way, either way, Ukraine has been saying for weeks that Russia is guilty of war crimes. And now it looks like the president of the United States agrees. Now to Washington, where President Biden has called Vladimir Putin a war criminal for the very first time. He is a war criminal. The White House says President Biden was, quote, speaking from the heart about Vladimir Putin's barbaric actions when he made that declaration. The Kremlin responded to that charge just moments ago, calling it, quote, absolutely unacceptable and inexcusable and pointing to the U.S. bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. Ah, seriously, Russia? You're gonna bring up something America did in the 40s? America's committed plenty of war crimes since then. Keep up with the times, yo! Come with that old shit. And just because America committed war crimes doesn't mean that you have to as well, Vladimir Putin, okay? I mean, what, if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? No, seriously, would you? I'm just brainstorming ways to end this whole thing. I just wanna know what you'd do, you know? Now, despite being under constant bombardment, Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, he's made it clear that he has no plans, zero, nada, to ever surrender to Russia. Yeah, practically every day, he releases a new video reassuring Ukrainians that he's still in charge, he's still in Kiev, and he's still making olive green T-shirts the hottest fashion item of 2022. Although, if you were watching Ukrainian news yesterday, you might have heard a very different message. A video claiming to show Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky calling for the Ukrainian people to surrender to Russia was aired on news station Ukraine 24. It then circulated on social media. In the deepfake video, a phony President Zelensky tells Ukrainians to put their weapons down in their war with Russia. Digital forensics experts quickly picked it apart, catching a number of visual and audio glitches. The official Facebook account for Ukraine's land forces posted a warning that more videos like this may be coming. Yeah. You know what's funny is the first time I saw a deep fake, the first time I wondered when it would finally be used for something dangerous in the world, like something actually meaningful. Cause you realize like some Ukrainians could have seen this video and actually surrendered. And the only reason they spotted this was because of small discrepancies. And also because the fake Zelensky says that Putin had a big dick and he's a karate king. I mean, that sort of gave it away. But you realize why deep fakes are so scary, right? is because they can make you think that anyone was doing anything, even if they weren't. Like, for instance, for instance, have you seen, there's a video of me online where they make it look like I was crying at the end of Jurassic World, which is ridiculous. Why, why, would, I, why would I cry just, just because that one dinosaur fought with the other dinosaur? Like, I like dinosaurs. Why are they killing each other? <laughs> why are the dinosaurs biting each other? <laughs> why are they doing that? You see, they did it again. That was... The point is, the point is, this was a bullshit way for Russia to try and win this war. Yeah. Which is why we at The Daily Show decided we're getting back at Putin by releasing our own deep fake video. It's me, Vladimir Putin. I made boob invading Ukraine and I just pooped my pants. Ha! Checkmate, Putin. Now, we don't know for sure who's behind this deep fake but it obviously wouldn't be shocking if it was the work of the Russian government, since fake news is kind of their whole thing right now. In fact, if you turn on Russia state media, you'd probably hear that Ukraine was the aggressor in this war and that Russia had no choice but to defend itself and also that the war is going great. And if a few thousand Russian soldiers never come home, it's not because they're dead, it's because they're on a permanent vacation. You know how it is. And believe it or not, believe it or not, the Russian government is being helped in this propaganda effort by conservative TV networks in the United States. Yeah, as wild as it sounds, channels like Fox News, Newsmax, and OAN, they've been so friendly to Putin's narrative that Russian TV stations have even reportedly been ordered to play clips of Tucker Carlson on its broadcasts. And that's a smart move by Tucker. You know, you might be like, why is he defending the Russians? Yeah, it's a smart move. You don't wanna put all your eggs in the Trump propaganda basket. You gotta diversify, you know? Think about other bad guys you could roll with. Putin, Kim Jong-un. Hey, maybe the Joker. 
Are we really supposed to believe a Batman is keeping our streets safer? Why is that? But the point is, America's conservative media is doing almost as good a job at spreading Russian propaganda as Russia itself. Which is why we thought, now's the perfect time for a good old-fashioned propaganda off. Итак, начну с того, что современная Украина целиком и полностью была создана Россией. Украина была не была до 1999 года. Украина была создана русскими. Они говорят русским. Скрытые факты экстренной зачистки киевским режимом следов реализуемой на Украине военно-биологической программы, финансируемой Минобороны США. So, yes, we're funding secret biolabs in Ukraine. Putin вам сказал, инфраструктуру НАТО на границе 97 -го года. Нам с вами просто не оставили ни одной другой возможности защитить Россию, наших людей, кроме той. Just like we would not want Russia to come in and start putting their tanks and missiles on our borders, Russia says, hey, I don't want U.S. and NATO coming and making their military outposts on our borders within Ukraine. Pro-Nazistic regime in Kyiv could получить in his руки оружие массового уничтожения. Rampant neo-Nazism in Ukraine itself. There were Nazis in Ukrainian divisions, and there still are Ukrainian Nazis. You can find pictures of them online, holding up the NATO flag and the swastika. Razet. Remember that Zelensky is a thumb. Remember that the Ukrainian government is incredibly corrupt and it is incredibly evil. The illegal coup in Kiev in February 2014 with the support of the United States where the legitimately elected president of the country was overthrown. A country which government only exists because of the Obama State Department helped to overthrow the previous regime. Пытаясь отменить Россию, Запад сорвал себя все маски приличия, стал действовать по-хамски. Look, Russia is now being cancelled.